Hello, everyone. I'll show you an open source project called Migration Dashboard. Migration Dashboard is a SharePoint web part that tracks migration progress from SharePoint on-prem to Microsoft 365. My name is Dennis Malazzo. I help my clients automate business processes using SharePoint Online, Azure Services, and the Power Platform. And I live in Toronto, Canada. Let's jump right to the demo. The goal of this web part is to provide transparent experience to everyone involved in a migration project. Let me show you what I mean. Now, suppose you're a site owner and you want to find out when your site's going to be migrated. So I'm going to search for my site here. So there are several options that might be um, related to my site, but I can pick the one I want. So in this case, I can even use my keyboard. Press Enter, and immediately I can see that my site is not yet migrated. The migration is scheduled for October this year. And I can also see the uh, future target site URL, which is a huge help already. Also, for my convenience, I have access to other important information, such as site size, number of subsites, site access status, and also I have access to interesting settings like source site settings and similar settings for the target site. If I want to review all details on a single page, I can also click on the view details. It'll open a panel, which is basically an iframe to a to a list item. So I can get everything in a single page like that. As you can already see, this dashboard provides a lot of useful information to everyone involved in a typical migration project. By quickly searching for a site, you get answers to many questions well, in a single place. Um, now imagine you are a part of a migration team. You're not a site owner. In this case, you can use this web part for things like scheduling site migrations, creating hidden notes uh, that only your migration team can see. Uh, you can also keep track of the site stakeholders. This way, you'll always know who'll need to be notified about the migration progress. If you want, you can also copy all stakeholders' emails to clipboard, just like so, and then paste it to Outlook. Like that. Or if you wish, you can do the same for individuals. If you want, uh, you can also reshuffle the site owners, or stakeholders. Uh, typically, I treat the, uh, the individuals who go first as more important, or maybe site owners. And everyone who is later, they, uh, they are more maybe just individuals who need to be notified about the site pro migration progress. I can also add new site owners here, just like that. It's fairly straightforward. Can reshuffle and save it. Also, apart from the basic information, you can see important pre-migration statistics that are hidden in the checklist um, uh, pivot tab. So you can get access to um, things like alerts, customized pages, workflows, uh, info path forms, custom master pages, and so on and so forth. All right, now let me show you where Migration Dashboard gets all the list of sites. Uh, there are, uh, so these are CSV reports produced by these uh, tools uh, called SharePoint Migration Assessment Tool, or SMAT. SMAT is an open source tool provided by Microsoft for free. And this is a typical SMAT report. 
even though you see a lot of information right away, it can be quite overwhelming. Uh, migration dashboard solves this problem by presenting the same SMAT data in a more compelling and easy to read way, like so. Um, if I get a fresh SMAT report, I can easily upload it using scripts. There is a script uh, that lets me just double click it, and then I can provide the SMAT report location, just like so, and a target site that contains the dashboard. In this case, it's this one. And as easy as that, the dashboard will get the data populated. And then you'll see everything in this matter, uh, matter as opposed to the not very readable CSV files. Now, let me show you the source code. The project was built using the PNP SPFX Yeoman generator and the React template. The project takes advantage of uh, both the uh, Fluent UI components and the PNP components. The entire uh, SPFX solution consists of a single web part. It doesn't require any access to any Azure APIs. It uh, simply uses PNP.js to communicate to a SharePoint list or lists that are used as a data source. Uh, the PowerShell folder includes deployment scripts that let you install prerequisites. Like so. Um, the scripts allow you to deploy the dashboard. The deployment script will automatically create a site, uh, deploy a web part, add it to the page, add lists and all other important dependencies. So dependencies are installed using um, PNP templates. So if anyone is planning migrations from SharePoint on-prem to SPO, Please deploy this dashboard to get an excellent self-service dashboard that um, your users should love. And you as a uh, migration team will also like because it saves you time on um, site owner communications. Awesome. This is a super cool tool. Um, I hadn't seen this and this is really neat. So thank you for doing this demo. Really cool. Mm -hmm.